Hello, beautiful. You look so good. Thank you for being here. Today, we're watching some people with natural, very, 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 very coily, curly hair. And they're coloring their hair with box dye. Curly hair, notorious for being dry, notorious for being easily damaged, and we're putting box dye on it. It sounds like a combination made in hell. So we're probably gonna see some disasters today. Hopefully somebody can somehow pull it together because I want to see a cute ass makeover, okay? I do. This video is by Yaz TV. Oh. Hello, beautiful people. It's Yaz TV. Welcome back to another video. Yo. Okay, immediately starting off, I'm nervous. We have enlisted the help of what looks to be her boyfriend. When we get boyfriends involved, things just get shaky real quick. But sometimes these guys pull through. So hopefully it's that kind of thing today. Today, um, I got this wacky hairstyle just because I was just starting to part my hair for this. Oh, uh, what is that? That is an interesting looking box. Um, that hair is extremely light. Your hair is extremely dark. How are we getting from there to there? Mm, seems not realistic, but we'll see. But what it has inside is this developer Okay. I've never dyed hair before. Great. We have this booster pack to help it lighten more. Then it also comes with the actual hair color, a conditioning treatment, and this little argan oil. I'm so confused. She pulled out some hair color, some developer, and then a lightening pack, which looked like powder bleach. What is the lightening pack for? Is it a lightening pack and a toner? Don't quite understand yet, but we'll find out. <laughs> hey, I got okay, so what is the technique here? Move, Angelica. I'm not seeing a technique yet. Okay, we're done, and uh, this is the part. Oh! So it looks bad. That's his fault. The parting isn't great, but at least we're parting. At least there's something going on in this head rather than just like guessing what they're doing. Well, they're probably still gonna guess, but at least there's parts. It doesn't take much to satisfy me these days. So it says to take off the developer thing and put eyelid booster. My hypothesis is that the parts in my hair that are already lighter are gonna be lighter than the dark parts that I dye. That's kind of obvious. So if this is not bleach, if this is just color, color doesn't lift color. There's a lot with that to unpack, but probably Probably in this instance, her ends are gonna stay the same color and her roots are gonna lift a lot. This just sounds sketchy. So what I'm gonna do is take the section and then I'm gonna take a little section from that section. Okay. That. Okay, so we're doing like a balayage moment. Ooh, this might be okay. Might is the keyword. be okay. We're using foils here, all right, to just separate the sections. This is a whole arts and crafts project already. This guy is putting in the work here. He's fully saturating those pieces, which we love. That's great. That's amazing. All right, so we're going to be doing the same thing to the back. I'll get to you guys when we get a little more progress done. This could be a cute look. Listen, I'm optimistic right now. I think that with the foils, with the teasing, with everything she's doing, it could be be a good look. Then again, maybe totally not. <laughs> oh, he's half assing it already. Dude, put in the work. And also, are we just picking up random sections and randomly painting it to a certain height? We need a pattern here. However, she does have curly hair, so she can really get away with like kind of it up a little bit. When your hair is curly, every day, different pieces are gonna be different lengths and everything's just gonna be all around. When you're straightening your hair or when you're straightening it and then like waving it or something, you're gonna really see those flaws. Curly hair, it's quite forgiving. So we just finished putting this all in. Okay. I'll leave in for another 20 minutes probably. I'm excited to see the results. If she opens these foils and the hair is still brown, which has happened so many times in these videos, I'm gonna be so distraught. I don't need that today. I don't need that type of negativity. So look at this front piece first. Ooh. So it lifted a lot. It's giving red. It's not giving what was on the box. We get a reference picture of that box. It's not giving this. Oh, that looks spotty. Put your hands down, because they want to see you take it off. Oh, the teasing is gonna help this a lot because once they let down that teasing and all those hair fibers go into each other like this, the blonde with the dark, you're gonna get a nice gradation of color. It's looking a little sketchy. <laughs> Doesn't look great so far. But uh, you know, we've seen things like this happen and then they get better. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I told you it was nice. Oh my God, that is light. <gasps> What? And it blends just like how I wanted it to. Does this look really good or what's going on? Cute. Oh, you cute, you cute. Shut up. It does not look this dark in real life. I didn't cut any off. This is how it is. It's Yo. Oh. After I 
fixed it. So all I did was add a hair mask in. Wait, sorry. How did that even happen? How does it look that good? This looks like a professional took hours to do this and did a phenomenal job. Never mind somebody with a box dye in their bathroom. This doesn't happen to everybody, so don't get your hopes up. Don't try to do this at home, okay guys? I'm shocked. Her hair looks stunning, better than I imagined it looking, and oh my god, her curls look not damaged at all, so hydrated, and so flawless. <laughs> This video is by Nikita Thimna Siotula. I'm going to be using these two products, Ruby Red and Cherry Red. I have never seen that box color before. Looks very interesting. I'm intrigued. I want to know what's in there. Today, we're going in with full force. Inside each box is the permanent hair color cream conditioner, a set of gloves, and a mixing stick. Right off the bat, I'm a little bit worried about her ends. Um, her ends are definitely already compromised with some lightener. So I'm worried about putting that box dye that we don't know the developer of onto those ends and then it falling off right onto the floor and her being left with one inch of hair, which honestly she would rock it. So I'm not really that worried about that, but I don't know what the red is gonna do to her ends. I think it'll be fine, but I don't know. Okay, so now I've mixed both of my cherry red and ruby red dyes into my mixing bowl and I actually forgot to mention that they both come with these color developer Ooh. so I'm not going to be using these two developers today simply because I know with box dyes the developer that comes with it is not that strong it only lifts your hair color one to two shades lighter that's so funny you say that because I feel like the opposite about it I feel like the developer that comes with the box dye is usually extremely strong especially for reds it's like 30 or 40 volume um, because you really want to get your hair lifted right when it comes to these bright, bright reds. We're on two different pages here. I'm using 40 volume cream peroxide, which is developer. Okay, so she's mixing her own concoction here. She's putting the 40 volume with the box dye, which honestly, I would say it's fine for her regrowth, but her ends are going to probably be fried. You don't want to put 40 volume on those ends. I don't know what she's going to do, so why don't we watch it? But I'm still very worried that she's going to put 40 volume over the ends and her ends are going to fall off. No! Okay, we're starting. We're going in, but it looks like we're only doing the regrowth. So hallelujah, um, because I just really don't want her to touch her ends. But also how is she gonna make her ends red? I'm very confused so far. What she really should do is use 30 or 40 volume with the red color on her regrowth. Let that process, rinse it out, and then put a glaze over the entire head of an all around red to then color her ends and color them safely without them breaking off and without putting 40 volume on them. Cause the 40 volume is too much. She's doing it well. She's going in there, she's separating her hair out, but she is still overlapping onto the blonde parts. <laughs> no. And there we go. We did the ends. We're doing the ends. I really wanted her not to do that. The other risk is that the color molecules might not even stay on the blonde parts because you're already taking compromised hair, then you're blasting the cuticle open with 40 volume, and then you're trying to inject those red color molecules inside the hair, which are really big molecules, and then they're probably just gonna slip right out when she washes it, and she's probably gonna be left with like pink hair rather than deep red because they're just not gonna stick. You need to use like a demi-permanent color in order to make them stick better, and you probably need to do it multiple times um, because porous hair doesn't like to hold red molecules. It's getting red. So we're getting somewhere. I'm going to cover my head in a plastic bag. I'll come back when I have washed my hair. Okay, so these are her results after doing that and they're not gonna cut it. See how her ends ended up pink? It's because it was already blonde and you're trying to put 40 volume. You're trying to blast the cuticle open. It's not gonna stick. It's not gonna look right. She's now gonna have to go in with more color. Obviously, it is not the red that I wanted. So I went ahead and ordered um, a product from Revlon, which is the color conditioner and this was going to give me the shade of red that I actually wanted. She's using a conditioning hair color, which is a semi-permanent color, and that's going to be great because that is going to probably stick way better than 40 volume with permanent color on her porous ends. Yes! Oh, this is already looking good. Oh, and I'm glad she's combing it through. With conditioning colors, that's totally fine to do. <gasps> oh! Wait. She looks stunning. And my fingers are still stained, so. Wow. This is her color. Just turn around so you can see how I look, ciao. I love it, like I really, really do love it. 
she is glowing. This is the perfect red for her, this cool toned red. Her skin is actually more on the neutral side looking at this video. So I think the cool tones really look great. Um, I would even love a warmer red, but this looks beautiful and she's glowing and she looks fabulous. And I'm so happy it came out good, even though it was looking very iffy at one point. I was about to walk off this set. I was like, mm -mm, I can't go through this today. This video is by Rung Karaji. I am dyeing my hair today because I know how to dye my hair this specific color which is like a ginger, it's not even blonde. I'm definitely afraid of bleach. So I would much rather just use my box dye. I'm literally obsessed with watching Brad Mundo videos. Well, welcome into the video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Brad Mundo is this guy who's a hairdresser and he reacts to like hairdresser videos. Doesn't really like box dye from what I've seen, but I'm using box dye because I feel like bleach is just scary. And yes, I could get a better blonde with bleach, but it's okay. Whatever color I get, I stick with because I like it and I just really want my head to be lighter. So here's the thing. There is something else besides box dye and bleach, and that is professional color. You do not necessarily need to be professional to buy it. You can go to somewhere like Sally's Beauty Supply, and you can buy professional color, and you can accomplish the same task that you would have with box dye with professional color. And it doesn't have to be that difficult, but... I understand what you're saying, I do. You just don't know what you're getting in the box dye, it's scary. Two boxes of this color, which is light golden blonde. Two boxes of this color, which is more of a honey blonde. Why do we have two different colors though? And also it's interesting that you're you're trying to go ginger, but you're using like platinum blonde. And I understand that you know that it's not gonna end up platinum blonde, but it's interesting that you're buying a box color that is made for like blonde blonde, but you wanna go ginger. This is the issue with box dye, it's like what's on the pack Package is not what you're gonna get and you really don't know what you're gonna get but as long as you're okay with the unknown maybe box dye is fine for you I had to go to the bathroom to do the back because I couldn't do my hair just not looking I want it to be very precise okay so she did the back in foils and it looks like we're doing a little bit of an ombre thing so what are we doing let me take up what are we doing <laughs> so you see this section of hair I yeah. take some dye, I squeeze it into my hand. Usually what I'll do is I'll just scatter it everywhere. Okay, the issue here though is that we're putting color on top of color. You're not gonna be able to lighten your hair effectively with color over color. So your ends are probably gonna stay the same level or just like a half a shade lighter and it's just gonna cause a lot of damage. You need to use bleach on your ends. If it's already colored, you need to use bleach. So use like 20 volume and powder and put it on there. Maybe don't put foils in if you don't want your hair too light but if you're trying to make the ends lighter it's not gonna happen this way. The secret to a good dye job is to not do the roots so I'm putting the dye only on this section of my hair. Look at her going in and doing a great job. I'm not doing the roots so I'm leaving about an inch just because the roots process faster because your scalp has heat. If you watch his videos he repeats this over and over again so it's something that I have learned. Oh it makes me so happy. She learned that when you put color on your scalp, it processes faster because of the heat from your scalp, which is so true. And that's why she's doing her ends first. However, you need to use lightener next time. It sounds like she's going to do her roots after. I'm excited to see what's, what gonna, what's gonna happen, but I don't know if it's gonna be a great result. You should probably opt for like 30 volume and color on your roots and then use like 20 volume and lightener on your ends for the remaining time. That way you get an even lift all throughout. So I'm gonna use the Clairol Lightest Blonde for my roots. I will start off in the back, then I guess in the front, I will still do the Honey Blonde, just in case this one bottle is not enough. I got it. So she's using the, I think the lighter color on her ends and the darker color on her roots, which makes sense, but color doesn't lift color, so it doesn't make sense in this instance. And now she's gonna take all the foils out and put color all over her root. This might work. So again, I'm gonna start from the bottom. It's actually already lightening. Oh, it does look a bit lighter. This is interesting. I need the bathroom mirror because I'm not about to do this on camera, but I like it that it's already lighting. I'm going to wash it out. Oh my God. Because I don't want to leave it in for any longer because my ends are so bright. We're getting so much lighter. Sometimes hair color theory doesn't stand up to the test because sometimes color does lift color. Even though we're all told that it doesn't, it sometimes does. So don't come after me because it did work in this instance, which I'm happy about. <gasps> this blonde color I use, my Clairol that I Oh, it's really light. Um, it lightened my hair a lot better than Dark and Lovely. We're not getting ginger anymore. You're fully blonde. <laughs> the next day and... <gasps> this is how my hair is. Like, it's so 
bright blonde. Like when I first looked at it, I was like, oh my goodness, I remember what? this light, but I fell in love with it. I was just like, oh, it's cute. What? The way her hair is styled, the darker ginger root with the blonde ends and the outfit and the makeup and her in general, this is magical. Why is everything turning out so good today? Keep in mind that dye or any type of chemical is going to loosen your curl pattern. I moisturize my hair, so as I'm touching it, it feels really soft. You honestly got really lucky though. Like, don't try that again. You may not get as lucky, um, but it looks fabulous. And wow, your curls are beautiful and they're still intact. Thank God, because I would hate to see those curls go away anytime soon. You guys always amaze me. In some of my Hair Just Reacts videos, when I'm expecting everything to go wrong, it like somehow all goes right. Like I really don't understand what just happened, but I'm happy for all of you that were in today's video that it came out beautiful. Anyways, if you guys haven't followed me anywhere else, do it up. Here are all my social media handles, including X Mondo Hair and X Mondo Color. You can also shop any of my hair care or my hair color with the links down below. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye.